Um, great question. Um, <laughs> look, um, we know it's going to be a, a really tough challenge. Um, they're a, a side that's been playing extremely well, but um, we also know come finals time, um, everything sort of starts again. And, um, you know, it's, it's all about the day. So for us as a team, it's very much the, the focus on, on our cricket again. Um, we've played some good cricket throughout. We've had a couple of narrow losses and, and a few wins along the way, which have um, put us in this position we we're in. So um, we're, we're excited at the challenge ahead. Again, what's your take on Suri Kumar Yadav, his recent form whenever he has played for Mumbai Indians and at Vankhede. So what's your take on Suri Kumar Yadav? Yeah, um, <clears throat> an exceptional player and um, a, a great stroke maker. Um, yeah, clearly coming in to, to play a role in that sort of middle lower order for, for India and, um, and has all the shots and, um, and knows the venue well. So uh, a good player. Um, they've got good players throughout. So, um, yeah, for us, the focus is on, on our cricket. In the one KD wickets always got a bit of pace and bounce in it. Uh, you've got a two meter Kyle Jamieson waiting in the wings. Um, he must be in the mix as far as team selection is concerned for tomorrow. Um, yeah, I mean we have to have a, a look at the surface. Obviously, with squad of 15 and everybody's fit, which is um, a nice change. And um, yeah, look at the pitch and, and assess from there. Uh, Kane, historically, New Zealanders were always considered underdogs, especially in the big games. But that seems to have changed over the last few years. And this game, uh, NZ, New Zealand is considered, this game against India is being considered a bit tricky for Indians. A bit tricky? Yeah, because opponent is you. Yeah. Um, I think every, every game uh, in this tournament um, is, a, is a tricky one. Uh, I think if, as we've seen throughout, any team can beat anybody on the day, and whether that's um, obviously the quality in both sides, but also the change in conditions and how that has an impact. So, um, yeah, I mean, for us, um, it's great to have got to the final stages and, and then take a fresh approach because it, it does start again. Um, yeah, I mean, the underdog thing, uh, from, from what you guys write, I don't think it has changed too much. Um, but, but that's fine, you know, and India have been exceptional. Um, they are one of the, if not the best team um, going around and they're playing cricket that matches that. Um, but we know as well on our day when we play our best cricket, it certainly gives us the best chance and come finals time, anything can happen. Kin, several months and several injuries ago, it seemed like you're not going to play in, a world, in this World Cup. And here you are uh, leading the team into yet another semi-final, fifth consecutive one. Personally, how this has been for you, your fourth... You're near your fourth consecutive ICC Trophy final as well. Yeah, um, yeah, an interesting journey for sure. Um, from sort of it not being a chance to to getting close and, and it becoming a, a reality and something to target and um, and certainly feeling really grateful to to be here and then to get back and then break my thumb. Um, <laughs> Yeah, it's not funny. Um, no, uh, it was quite frustrating and, and testing, um, but still feeling, um, you know, that it, that it hadn't ruled me out. So I still was, was grateful for that. Um, and it's nice to, to be, um, you know, fitter than perhaps I, I was yesterday uh, and, and be sitting here. So um, personally, you know, it's, it's great to be here um, and it's nice to be a part of this tournament. These tournaments are, are special and... Um, and world events in India, you know, certainly add to that. Again, as an opposition captain, how do you look at uh, you know the lack of six bowler in the bowling attack, especially on a high-scoring venue like this? Um, yeah, I mean, look, every every team has a, a slightly different balance um, that they rely on, and and naturally, with um, the injury to Hardik, um, you know, meant that their balance changed a little bit, but. Um, certainly didn't change the the outcome of, of what they were doing, so they they adjusted nicely. And um, you know our team tends to or has done in the past anyway, played with a, a slightly different balance. And I think when when you get into tournaments as well, um, it's it's guys being nice and familiar with with the roles that they have, whether that's with the ball or, or with the bat. Um, and you know it, it all goes quite quickly, so you're trying to make sure you build on those performances as a team. Um, and they've done it better than anybody so far in this competition. And as a side, I think we've done some good stuff too. So, um, yeah, I mean, we're just we're looking forward to, to tomorrow and it's going to be a, a great occasion. Ken, uh, do you see it as a mother of all battles? Uh, 
especially from Dharmashala to here. What are the things you have learned? Yeah, I mean, that was a, a great game uh, as well when we played India in, in pool play. Um, I think when you, you get to finals, things sort of start again. Um, you know, it's, it's on the day, and I, I think prior to that, you're, you're really focusing on two months or whatever it is, six weeks perhaps of, of good cricket to hold you in good stead at, at the back end of, of round robin play and because it's very difficult I think for nine games to, to kind of micromanage that process. It's about you know how you want to express yourself as a team day in day out and, and assess the conditions in front of you and, and the different opposition that you, you keep um, facing. So um, yeah, for us, it's it's looking to do something similar, and it's going into this game with with fresh eyes and and looking to um, you know play what's in front of us, and, and the conditions will be different again. And, um, and like I say, that's a big part of the challenge, not only the opposition but um, the change in venue as well. Yeah, uh, Kane, as a batsman yourself, could you just say something about Ratchin Ravindra's form at this tournament and what that's been like to witness from close quarters? Yeah, um, quite incredible, really. Um, burst onto the scene and uh, in a big way, and <clears throat> in a role that perhaps wasn't um, sort of natural, maybe with an hour environment. He did a bit of it domestically, um, but to to do what he's done so far in this tournament um, with his feet firmly on the ground has been really, really special. And as we've all seen, he's a, he's an incredibly special and and talented player and and a fantastic individual in the environment. And it's not just the, the volume of runs that um, he's achieved so far, but, but how he's been scoring them and, and how it's been geared towards trying to move the team forward. So um, some fantastic uh, contributions um, so far and, and at such a young age. And um, I'm sure we'll see plenty more of it to come. Thank you. Uh -huh. Kin, uh, your uh, former uh, teammate Ross Taylor said yesterday that uh, you know it's impossible to not think of what happened four years earlier at the same stage in the World Cup, uh, in the semi-final, you know, against India. So, uh, do you think that you can repeat that dose uh, to tomorrow? Something similar can happen. Yeah, I mean, uh, I think the game will <clears throat> be a little bit different. It might be played over one day um, rather than two. Uh, looking at the weather, but um, at the same time, you know, teams work hard to, to get to the stage. They have to play a lot of good cricket to, within the, the format um, or the structure of the the tournament to, to get here. You know, over such a long period of time, um, that yeah, it's a it's a great occasion, and it's it's on the day. Um, both teams looking to play their best cricket um, and compete in the best way that they can. Yeah. Hi, Kane. Uh, Nero from the week. I just want to know, there's been a lot of talk about uh, the future of one-day cricket and the kind of reactions that one-day cricket is getting now that T20 is here to stay. And, of course, WTC also has given context and life to, fresh life to test cricket. So what are your thoughts and other players' thoughts on um, looking at the response that this tournament has got? Uh, what is the future of one-day cricket? Um, yeah, has it been a good response or, or a bad one? I, I had, I'm not exactly um, aware, but I, I know that playing in, in the tournament and being involved in world events are, are always special from a, a player's perspective and continuing to provide that, that context <clears throat> in, in the sport, whatever the format, I think is, is really important. Um, you know, it is hard to predict the future, but um, I think we see that when we do have world events, um, countries against countries, um, regardless of the format, there is um, something quite special about that. But, um, yeah, there will be a balance to strike with the, the T20 uh, format, which naturally is, is becoming, um, I guess, more and more in, in the calendar. Um, but that's, that's a good thing too, you know. It sort of speaks to what people want to watch, and I think ultimately it's a positive thing for our game, but it's just trying to um, continue to find that balance. Again, the official capacity of the stadium is 33,108. There's going to be 33 of them in blue and screaming loudly tomorrow. 33, 33, 33 there'll be more than that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 33,000, yeah. I mean. Um, I've never seen you flustered. I know you're cool, calm, collected wherever you go, but how do you ensure your team holds their nerves on the biggest occasion? Yeah, I mean, we're, we're expecting a, a, a fairly blue uh, crowd that will be supporting their team and um, no doubt they'll be very passionate about that. Um, but at the same time, I think as a, as a player, when you 
you get the opportunity to, to play in front of those sorts of crowds as well. It is special and we remember over the years you know, a number of different crowds that we've had that haven't always been your own fans. In fact, often they're not. We have a, quite a small country that um, doesn't always fill out the, the stadiums, but um, you still appreciate the atmosphere that it brings, and, and I'm sure that there'll be a, a good one tomorrow. And, um, yeah, guys have all different um, levels of experience with those things, but it, to me it's about embracing it. Um, not many people get that opportunity, um, you know, cricket, Cricket in India, playing against India in a World Cup semi-final is, is special and something to, to appreciate um, and look forward to.